I'm working on the rear suspension of my 260. Uh, trying to get at the sway bar links now. Um, the end links get a lot of water kicked up, even though this car doesn't end up in the rain very often. It's just enough that uh, it's not unusual to see corrosion. So uh, on the other side, I had to use my inductive heater. Thought I'd give a little in demonstration here because I'm going to do the same thing again on this one. And what I'm going to do right now is go get my impact gun so I'm ready to take the bolt off as soon as I get this nice and hot. So one of the beautiful things about these induction heaters is you don't have open flames until you heat up a bushing until it burns. Right now, do a before measurement. You can see it's about 81 degrees. I'm going to put this induction heater. This is just, uh, you can find these all over the place on Amazon. I paid like about 230 for this one. Just going to do this so that it's over the bolt. And that just slightly there so I can get a good angle and let's see I'll start it up you can maybe hear the fan shortly you'll see smoke there's all the smoke burning rubber so we're about 15 seconds in 30 seconds in There's some bubbling at the top. Not sure if that's penetrating fluid or what. Really see that bushing starting to smoke now though. We're about a minute in. Uh, fortunately, I'm not catching this bushing on fire. And that's probably enough heat. So, let's see how much our temperature is running. 214. Got the impact gun. Yeah, gotta hold it. Grab it with vice grips here. Ah. Now, hit it again. And it's off easily. <laughs> 